e aí acontecia o, a, a, o desejo, né? Aquela forma maldita de querer pegar a pessoa. In the 90s, the city of Sao Paulo plunged into a state of fear and paranoia as a brutal and sadistic serial killer began attacking victims in the region's parks. This criminal, known as the Park Maniac, left a trail of terror and suspense wherever he went. The Park Maniac's modus operandi was carefully calculated and disturbing. He selected his victims with precision, observing their movements, studying their routines, and patiently waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Lurking in the shadows, he emerged unexpectedly and ruthlessly, unleashing limitless violence. The crimes perpetrated by the park maniac were extremely brutal. Not satisfied with merely murdering his victims, he subjected them to terrible torture, leaving indelible marks of suffering and despair. His attacks shocked everyone with their cruelty and sadism, creating a climate of widespread terror. With each new report of an attack, the suspense escalated exponentially. The population lived in constant fear, avoiding the parks that were once symbols of leisure and fun. Now, these places turned into true scenes of horror, fueling fear and distrust in those who dared to venture into their trails and lawns. Aí acontecia o, o, a, o desejo, né? Aquela forma maldita de querer pegar a pessoa e o inimigo dentro gerando dentro de mim, essa não escapa, se você levar ela, se ela falar assim, ela vou devorar ela viva, não era nem a prática sexual, era uma coisa muito é, é, canibal, né? De destruir, é, de, de, de morder a carne, de sentir o, a, a carne do ser humano, na boca, aquela, na boca o rosto, o rosto. The park maniac became an enigma for the police. Investigators, journalists, and the curious immersed themselves in a frantic search for clues, attempting to unravel the psychological profile of the killer. The authorities were determined to capture him, but his meticulous actions and ability to leave no traces made the investigations challenging. As the suspense grew, the media released sensationalist headlines, keeping society in constant alert. The population thirsted for justice, demanding answers and measures to guarantee their safety. The city of Sao Paulo teetered on the edge of an emotional collapse, held hostage by the terror instilled by the park maniac. The police, aware of the pressure and responsibility weighing on their shoulders, intensified their efforts to apprehend the criminal. A task force was assembled, criminal profiling experts were summoned, and advanced technological resources were employed in the hunt for the park maniac. The suspense reached its climax when, after an intense and agonizing manhunt, the authorities finally identified the perpetrator of the heinous crimes. Francisco de Assis Pereira, an apparently ordinary man, was arrested and confessed to the monstrous acts he committed. The macabre revelations he made shocked everyone, exposing the disturbed mind behind those acts of cruelty. The capture of the park maniac brought momentary relief to the population of Sao Paulo. Quando chegou no parque, nós entramos, induziu a ela a tirar a roupa, a se despir e tudo. E houve uma, um, um cariciamento no corpo dela. Houve um cariciamento no corpo dela. Ela se posicionou de uma forma é, bem prostíbula no chão. E foi dado um laço. Like the video, please like the video, subscribe and comment on what topic you would like to see in the next video.